Today we're going to continue to work toward being able to find the derivative of a logarithmic function. Today we're going to spend some time on solving exponential equations, which we did back in pre-calculus again, but we're going to kind of continue and, and work with those today. So I give you the example of e to the 3t equals 6, and what we want to do is be able to solve for that variable of t. Remembering that e is a number, it's not a variable. So our variable in this case is that t. So in order to be able to take that t or that variable out of the exponents, what we can do is we can take the natural log of both sides of our equation. So we have the natural log of e to the 3t equals the natural log of 6. Remembering our exponent rules for logs, we can take that 3t, that exponent, and bring it to the front of that natural log. So I have 3t natural log of e equals the natural log of 6. Natural log of e, by definition, is 1. So I have 3t equals the natural log of 6. And I can go ahead and divide by 3. So t, the exact value, is going to be the natural log of 6 divided by 3. We can, however, get an approximation with that by putting it into our calculator. We can go ahead and type in the natural log. There we go. So you can see it. Natural log of 6. Make sure you end your parenthesis there and then divide by 3. And that gives us an answer that t is approximately 0 0.597. Again, we'd like to go out three decimal places. Um, not necessarily 100% required, but it would be nice if you went out the three decimal places for future uh, classwork. In order to be able to solve a rather more complex uh, exponential equation, the first thing we want to do is be able to get that e by itself. So in our first example here, e was already by itself to the exponent. Here we've got a 5 that we're multiplying to it and a 7 that we're or adding to it, that left side. So we want to get that e by itself. In order to do that, we can subtract 7 from both sides, just like we did, would do in an equation. So we get 5e to the 3x plus 4 equals 2, and then go ahead and divide by 2 or divide by 5, sorry, on both sides. Run out of room. Come over here, so we get e to the 3x plus 4 equals 2 fifths. And now it becomes a problem just like we saw up on the first example. We can take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of e to the 3x plus 4 is going to equal the natural log of 2 fifths. Now my 3x plus 4, that's going to come to the front. Remembering again, the natural log of e is 1. So we're going to end up with 3x plus 4 is going to equal the natural log of 2 fifths. Now I can go ahead and solve for x by subtracting 4 and dividing by 3. So x will equal the natural log of 2 fifths minus 4 divided by 3. Again, we subtracted the 4 over and divided by 3. And there's our exact value. But again, we can go ahead and get an approximation by putting that into the calculator. So coming over here, eh, so I can see it. There we go, get into the light there. So I have the natural log of 2 fifths, so 2 divided by 5, and your parentheses. I'm going to subtract 4 from that. I like to go ahead and hit enter, and then go ahead and do my division by 3. And that gives me an approximation for x. x is approximately negative 1.639. Again, round it to three decimal places. Oh, hit the camera. All right, and that gives us our approximation for that one. Got two more examples here. They're going to be very similar to what we've already seen before. Uh, the last one is a little more complex. This first one, we're going to get e by itself by dividing by 6. So we have e to the 3t minus 7 equals 2. I'm going to go and take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of e to the 3t minus 7 equals the natural log of 2. Again, we bring that exponent to the front. So we have 3t minus 7, natural logs of e, equals the natural log of 2. Again, natural log of e, by definition, is 1. So 1 times that 3t minus 7 gives us 3t minus 7. That's going to equal the natural log of 2. Again, I'm going to add 7 and divide by 3 to get what t is. So natural log of 2 plus 7 divided by 3. And again, we can throw it into the calculator. And looking in the calculator, I have the natural log of 2, end your parentheses, plus 7. 
I'm going to go ahead and enter and then go ahead and divide it by my 3. And I'll get T is approximately 2.564. And one last example, one kind of uh, a fun, nasty looking example. Here, our X is in the exponent of an E, but it's also in our denominator. So what we can do is go ahead and you can either set up a proportion, make this 2 over 1, or we can multiply this denominator over to the 2. It's going to work out the same way. It depends on how you look at the problem. So if I multiply the denominator over, I get 1 equals 2 times 2e to the 3x plus 5. And now it becomes a problem that we just did, where we had to solve for that e to the 3x. So I can go ahead and divide by my 2, so I get 1 half equals 2e to the 3x plus 5. Now I go ahead and get that e to the 3x by itself by subtracting 5 and dividing by 2. So I have 1 half minus 5 divided by 2 equals e to the 3x. And this kind of looks nasty on the left side, but remember we're using our calculator to be able to get the exact values, or the approximate values, so I'm not really interested in cleaning that up at this point. So I have the natural log of both sides are going to equal each other. Oh, that's over 2 as well. And that's going to equal, again, when I take the natural log of e to the 3x, I can bring that 3x to the front. So I just get 3x. Now I can go ahead and divide by 3 to get my exact value. So now I have the natural log of 1 half minus 5 divided by 2 all over 3 is equal to x. Now to get my approximation, we're going to have to clean up this inside the numerator, take the natural log of that, and then divide by 3. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens with that. So if I take 1 half minus 5, that gives me negative 4 and a half, negative 4.5 if you wish, divided by 2, that's negative 2 and a quarter. So this over here, I'm looking at the natural log of negative 2 and a quarter divided by 3 is equal to x. And now if I take the natural log of negative 2 and a quarter, if we notice, we get that 0.8, well, uh, I'm going to change my mode here real quick. Um, we do want to make sure we're in a real number system. So if you're not in a real number system, make sure you are. So if I take the natural log of negative 2 and a quarter, we see that we get a non-real answer. We should realize, again, from Algebra 2, or not from Algebra 2, from pre-calculus, that the natural log, we cannot take the natural log of a negative number. We can only take the natural log of a positive number. Remember what natural log means. Natural log means log base E of negative 2.25 equals something. So I can't take E to a power to equal negative 2 or negative anything. So with this, there's going to be no solution. And that's going to be our answer. So that gives you kind of an idea of, of how to solve an exponential equation with bases of e and where we would see something where we have no solution. So again, make sure you get the e by itself, just like a regular equation. And then we take a natural log of both sides and go ahead and solve for the variable. Good luck, enjoy, and if you have questions, Please let me know.